few months ago, I put out a video detailing out the best graphics cards for the money, so just purely the best price to performance graphics cards, but all of that was based on MSRP, and as all of us know, MSRP definitely doesn't hold true today with graphics cards from a few years ago all the way up until the most recent releases from NVIDIA and AMD, seeing 30 to even 150% increases in price compared to MSRP. So I decided to take a step back, reanalyze a lot of the data, add in the new cards that were brought in by both AMD and NVIDIA with the RX 6500 XT and the RTX 3050 to once again take a look at what the best price to performance graphics cards are, but this time looking at actual retail price and not just MSRP. Alrighty, so we're jumping into the spreadsheet that I put together and this will be linked down in the description below. So as you can see, you have every device, which is all of the graphics cards from the past few years up until today. So anything from like an RX 560 or RX 570 from AMD back to like the GTX 1050 from Nvidia and then everything through to the current models. Um, so I went ahead and I just said, what kind of target monitor resolution would that graphics card be targeting that way we can give you guys the best 1080p card the best 1440p card and the best 4k card so then we have msrp for all of those cards the most recent current price of those cards up to today in the middle of february um so as you guys can see current price to msrp there's quite a big gap between those numbers and we have percent over MSRP. So it's 30% over MSRP for something like an RX 6500 XT and over like 80% MSRP for anything that's like RX 570, even an RX 6800. So then in order to analyze performance of these graphics cards, we're taking a look at the 3D Mark graphics score, which we were able to find on just 3D Mark's website. Uh, you can go on to this link here. It will be down in the description below, and it will give you a list of every single graphics card that 3D Mark tests and just see exactly what the 3D Mark graphics score is, which would be like time spy score. And that way we can actually see, you know, how does this card perform? They give their idea for value for money and then we'll of course take that to the next level in this analysis. But overall, back to our numbers, we then also took FPS for a nine game test streak that Tom's Hardware does on pretty much all of their cards. And what we did was we kind of just compared every single card to every other card. So the number one card in 3D Mark, the number one card in FPS is most likely going to be that RTX 3090. And then, you know, you have your all the way down to that bottom level graphics card. Um, but overall, we can see this normalized total. So we got a total score for our graphics card performance. We were able to normalize that. So as you can see, 100% means that the RTX 3090 is the most performance you can get out of any other graphics card in this list. Second would be the RX 6900 XT at 94% the performance of a 3090. And then you can go down to like 17% of a 3090, which is a 6500 XT. So now we have exactly how all these cards compare performance wise, but now we have to see how they compare price to performance wise. So sure, a 6500 XT might be 17% of a 3090 in performance, but if it's 17% of the price or less, it's a better deal price to performance wise. Of course, those are kind of two crazy cards to compare, but you could do the same thing between a 3090 and a 6900 XT or a 3060 and a 6700 XT and kind of see what card wins out. So that's exactly what we did. We just took price to performance numbers. So price divided by performance to get a good idea as to that criteria. And now we're able to figure out what the best price to performance card is, and that is the 6500 XT. I know there's been a lot of criticism of the 6500 XT, but purely from a price to performance metric, it's the best card out there right now. Um, and then you can see in second place is the 6700 XT, the 3070 Ti, the 6600 XT. So all we're doing is just comparing them to each other price to performance wise. So now this normalized price is if we compare every single card to the peak performing card, which is the 6500 XT, what should the price of that card be? So if every card performed at the level of a 6500 XT, 
you know, price to performance wise, not necessarily just performance wise, what should the price be? So of course it's gonna be one to one for a 6500 XT, so it stays the same. The current price is $259, the normalized price is also $259. But then if we look at the 6700 XT, uh, in order to get the performance of a 6700 XT, it should cost us $670. And we can see the current price is 688 bucks. So it's only 3% overpriced compared to what its actual price to performance is. So that's just a general overview of how I went through the data. You can look through this data sheet, you can look through the spreadsheet. Like I mentioned, it'll be down in the description. But I was able to take those numbers and bring them into a little Power BI report, a little bit easier for everybody to visualize. And as you guys can see, so this is now looking at the best price to performance based on MSRP. So this is pretty much what I went through in my last video. So you can see the Radeon RX 5500 XT has the best price to performance based on MSRP. But if we jump over to best price to performance just based on current price and not based on MSRP, now we see our Radeon RX 6500 XT, followed by the 6700 XT, 3070 Ti, 6600 XT. So the closer that these two bars are for each card, the light blue and the dark blue, the better the price to performance is on that card. But you can see that there's definitely all these different fluctuations because all these cards are priced differently. The higher the price, the higher the performance. But now we can take a look at the specific kind of segments, which is what we broke down by looking at 1080p cards, 1440p, and 4K. So now if we go into the 1080p cards, so the best 1080p card price to performance right now is the Radeon RX 6500 XT, followed by the 2060, the 3050, the 1660, and the 1660 Super. So those are the top five cards that I would be looking at if you're looking to get into 1080p gaming and you still want good performance at that level. And we can look at the performance of these cards as well, side to side kind of comparing. So even though a 6500 XT is the best price to performance, we can also just take into account how does that compare also with just pure performance? Because our RTX 2060 was our second best price to performance card and it's our best performing card. So that is a really good deal on an RTX 2060, whereas with the uh, Radeon RX 6500 XT, it's kind of down here. So even though it was our best price to performance card, it's not necessarily the best deal because the performance is lacking a little bit just overall. Uh, but we can do the same thing for 1440p as well. So it's a little bit difficult to kind of categorize all of these cards into specific resolution levels. Uh, but overall, all of these cards would be able to play high 1440p settings in pretty much any game. And our best card is the 6700 XT, followed by the 6600 XT, 3070, and 3060 Ti. We can see from this kind of standpoint, a 2060 Super is not a great deal, neither a 2070 Super or 2080. Uh, pretty much all of the newer cards are the best price to performance deals right now. And all those cards are very similar to each other with the 3060 Ti, 6600 XT, and then like a 3070 to a 6700 XT. So these are kind of where I would be looking. Finally, if we take a look at our 4K cards, uh, I threw the 3070 Ti in here. It's not necessarily a true 4K machine. Uh, it's not necessarily a true 4K card as advertised by NVIDIA, but it'll definitely game at that resolution. Uh, and overall, the 3070 Ti is the best price performance, followed by the 6800 XT, 6900 XT, 3080, 6800. Uh, the 3080 Ti and the 3090 are not great price to performance cards right now, especially looking at the 3090, which is, you know, it's a $2,000 card for the most part on the secondhand market, but based on its performance, it should only really be $1,000. And MSRP for that card is already 1,500. Um, so that kind of, that card is just way out of here. I mean, a lot of the people buying those cards just want pure performance. They don't care what the price is. So that's why Nvidia is able to price it that high. But a card like the 6900 XT, which has very similar performance to a 3090, is much better positioned price to performance wise. So overall, the best deal right now is a 3070 Ti. So if we're gonna go through just quickly those three categories, the best 1080p card is a 6500 XT right now, 
followed by the 6700 XT for 1440p and 3070 Ti for 4K. So I hope it wasn't too confusing, kind of jumping back and forth through all of the data and through some of these charts and graphs, but hopefully you guys get a better understanding of how the price to performance works. If you wanna create similar visualizations using the spreadsheet, it'll be there for you guys to take a look at. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or comments about what I did here, or if you wanna do something similar yourselves, leave all that down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.